so I, I think I would have to describe how they're venting. Um, so they split my floor. Um, so I have a zigzag star here. Uh, they burnt my floor open. I have a metal plate that, that I can feel, which is bizarre. They put them down here, and then they open them up. So, so they open everything up. They also remove uh, lymph nodes. I was expecting to have um, kind of Frankenstein's monster kind of thing that was bent in my head, and it wasn't. I was so surprised at how neat the star was and how tidy the stitches were. I took a photo of four days later, sort of what I looked like, because I generally couldn't believe that how neat and tidy everything was. Wrecking up some operation, um, <laughs> I was prepared to feel a lot of pain in my arm where I had the, the um, flat side balls. Um, and I was expecting to feel pain in my face, but I didn't. <clears throat> what I forgotten was that I had um, a stim blast removed from my abdomen to cover the bottom of my arm. And I couldn't remember that, and so when I had pain from there, my initial response was to go, ow, because nothing came out. And so I ended up having to <coughs> grab someone <laughs> who was trying to get them to bed and get me comfortable and kind of point to my abdomen, and they're like, that's where the glass was. So I was like, and then there's no button to pen with this, and that was the best thing ever. Um, but <laughs> what I liked is that when I came to after the surgery, they said, Laura, my name is, <coughs> and you're in the Royal Marsden, it is half past nine at night, you're in the, um, the intensive care boards, and everything went well. But that, this time was really, really sore. And, oh, and they also said, sorry, that they stoned my family so that the no, I'm okay. And that, that's just, like, the best news um, to wake up to. But yeah, there's there's to wake up and kind of want to go out, and there's nothing there. Um, but it didn't hurt. 